It's one of the country's oldest townships. Alexandra, also known as Gomorrah, is plagued by overcrowding, lack of service delivery and poor living conditions. It's deemed a prime example of government's failure to fulfill its constitutional obligations. Instead of better living conditions, things just seem to be getting worse. Just a few weeks ahead of the May 8th polls, residents embarked on a total shutdown of the township. No way in, no way out. The shutdown soon turned into a political ping-pong match between the ANC and DA. Seemingly, nobody is willing to take responsibility. 75-year-old Linda Twala was born and bred in Alex. During apartheid, his home was used as a meeting place for anti-state organizations. He says the township has deteriorated drastically since then. We used to wake up at 3 in the morning speaking to the community and we used to do loud hailing. If we were to pick up scraps or old fridges, there was a day when we were doing that. But again, we used to have a, a vigorous education drive whereby we were teaching people how to keep their homes clean mm. at that time. So what went wrong? It's just that uh, maybe it's because of the influx. People were coming into Alex in big numbers. And he says playing the blame game is pointless. All of us, let's come together, be it uh, PAC, EFF, NNP, let's come together and clean our township, not only in Alex, even in other townships. So can Alex be turned around? If you want to keep Alex clean, we need more land. Yeah, we need to demolish Alexandra block by block. That's what we, we intended doing some years back when I got a place which, which is called Vezunyao. That was my property. That's where we were going to put up uh, um, flats and, and, and make sure that uh, when we demolish from 1st to 6th Avenue, at least people have a place where they can stay and move back. But that never materialized. Despite the several challenges, Twala remains firmly rooted in this township. Slinda Lomasigan, Alexandra in Johannesburg.